What's going on, YouTube? June, June 8th, sick with some red tiles. Thought I'd just show her off a little bit. She's got a new hide. She seems to be liking it. give her a feed in tomorrow, tried to feed her tonight, she didn't go for it, try it again tomorrow, she just came out of the shed looking all good, and then we'll take a look at another thing, and then here's the 175, the, one of the 75 gallon tanks I have, sorry about the glare, I got the TV on, turn it off real quick, Alright, I'm sorry about that. Just wanted to show a couple of the guys all fucking nice. The Venus is all in mate dress. There's his female next to him. Over in the other tank, I do have uh, my Pondanellum Nairii right there holding. There she is, big mouthful, and my, I'm not sure if I said that right, I don't know where she is, but my female Taiwan Reef is holding, and there, I watched them both mate, and they are full blood Nairii and full blood Taiwan Reef because the male Taiwan Reef mated with the female Taiwan Reef and the male Nairii mated with the female Nairii. I watched them both. I tried to get it on video. Wasn't fast enough. I just thought I'd do a little quick video tonight. Show you that the plants are coming in pretty nice. Starting to grow really nice. That will be right there, looking amazing as always. There's my, one of the Taiwan Reefs, there's the dominant male Taiwan Reef I have in this tank. Dragon's Blood. That I call my Dragon's Blood OB, I'm not quite sure what he is. You got Burley there in the middle, the red fin. This little OB is starting to get some nice blue in his face. I added in the toxic barrels. I kind of like the way they look. Bought that fish for 60 bucks like four or five months ago. Eh, about the same size as it was when I bought it. And I'm 100% sure it's a female. Because it's not a male. It is not a male sulfur head. I have a male sulfur head. He's right there. So I'll probably keep her and eventually throw her in the tank with him and maybe a couple other females. Once I make my move, we're moving soon. I'm going to have an entire fish room. Um, start off with these tanks and the other five I already have this set up. I have another 40 gallon breeder, two 20s, uh, a 46 gallon bow front, and then I have a 55 that I just purchased. And plan on doing a Maltese tank with the 55. I think that'll be pretty nice. Some Neil Lamberlugas multifasciato. I like those fish a lot. Get, in, get into that and maybe start trying other tanks. My boy on Google Plus, Matthew Moore. Got me thinking about getting into the Tanganyikans, so. Plants are coming in real good on that.
That's about it. Freddy is uh, actually over there in the dark right now. <laughs> yeah. It's real late. I just got home from work. It's 2.30 in the morning my time. I figured I'd turn on the lights and do a little video of these guys. I'm just going to do it up close on this tank instead of the other one. I got to clean the other tank and everything. I can show you the new addition to the other tank. So as you can see, there's a green terror in there. Who they all think they're being fed. I literally just fed them right before this video. Who was getting shredded at a buddy of mine's house. And he was in with like three other green terrors and they were just messing him up. And I thought, well, I'll put him here until I move. He's starting to heal up, actually. His fins look way, way better than what they did. And believe it or not, none of these cichlids are messing with him. He gets along just fine in here with these guys. Um... Yeah, he's starting to heal up really, really good. When I first got him, his anal fin and his, his tail fin was almost completely gone. I mean, there wasn't any orange on it at all. So he's doing really, really good in there. He will get moved to his own tank. I'm going to do a big Central or South American tank. I mean, South American tank when I uh, get over to the other place. Uh, he might even get one of these 75s all to himself once I move all these cichlids into the the 220 I plan on buying. So, well, that's about it. But yeah, as you can see, everybody in here is doing pretty good too. Uh, my OB patches there, looking amazing. My little red shoulder there. That guy, that fluorescent's really starting to turn on some color. He keeps running, but they all think they're being fed again. He's getting some good colors on him though, in that face. There you have it guys, just a quick little update, show off some of the fish, some of these guys have been just amazing tonight, so I figured I'd get them on camera. Alright, well if you haven't, please like and subscribe, share the video, stop by Google Plus, check out the Mix Aquifer and Cichlid group, a lot of great guys there, a lot of guys know their stuff, need help need any kind of tips advice anything like that we got you there so just stop by check us out and then join up we will holler at you guys next time and have a good one youtube take it easy